Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Add more compensation to the list. We have another glitched pack in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. Yesterday, EA dropped a massive Shapeshifters player pick, but it has since been removed because it included some incorrect cards according to the description of that player pick. And guess what? That means compensation is coming yet again. We have a crazy long list of all those different packs that need to be given out. And EA is way far behind on it. So we're just adding another one onto that list. And we've got a lot of content to talk about in today's video as well, especially about what might be upcoming today on Thursday, because Thursdays are very popular loading screen days, and we don't have many leaks yet for Shapeshifters Team 2. But guys, this is a three-week promo, so we're going to be getting more cards and hopefully some more news about that today. I want to cover all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe if you are new. We're also back. It's been a couple days since we last uploaded as I was away, but it is good to be back. And there's a lot of content that I've missed, so I want to quickly catch up on all of it, starting really quick with objectives. I'm going to go through this fast, guys. I know you've seen this already, but just to put my kind of thoughts on this objectives um you know this links card that dropped yesterday this is a fat dub i guess this is so easy to complete it's like silver stars but for a legit non-silver player right i love the card i know it's tough to link i know it's only four star four star but for a free 94 rated card for basically winning three games in any foot game mode that's a piece of cake that's a 94 rated fodder at the very least, there's literally no complaints from me there. Um, we've got the Bamba card that was dropped earlier in the weekend. A double objective week with Mitrovic and Bamba. I like this one because this for me is a different sort of grind that we can do during the week because it is not just a gameplay grind. It is, well, it's just an SBC grind. Completing the Shapeshifters Crafting Upgrade SBC 50 times. You get a guaranteed Shapeshifters and Todd's Pack along the way. The Bomba card isn't that amazing. 4-4 four, four, high high. It is good. Don't get me wrong. It is good. It's not like spectacular, but it's a nice objective card with good links. And you could say, Nate, this is like a 350,000 coin card hard to get from scratch isn't that too much yes it is but a lot you're not going out and buying all the cards to get this done you're probably getting this done over the course of the week maybe through rewards i know there's not a long time to do it i wish it was out for longer than just a week or a couple days it's three days left right now i wish it was maybe out for another week after that so that you could slowly chip away at this and not feel like you have to get it done right away but with the shapeshifters pack there and the tots pack not horrendous just decent from uh from a standpoint for me there and then we also have a foot champs bonus objective which the biggest w of all this in my opinion is play three matches of his rivals to get your 1250 quality points for a lot of people in fifa that's pretty massive so i'm not going to go after this i know air doozy tots cards are up big um i know you get an 85 10 at the end of it but for me i'm staying away from completing that entire objective just because it's too much from what i want to grind at this time of the game so decent objectives but also the sbc content has really been actually what's been kind of the really good content over the past few days starting off with a sorloth sbc this one almost is like a meme to me right think back to the earlier parts of this year in fifa 23 when the lengthy meta was fresh in our minds this sorloth card is first and second in form are probably going to be some of the most remembered cards from this year of fifa because of how meta he was out of nowhere right and this card of course is kind of a meme of those and just play off his hype earlier on in the year it seems to me 99 heading accuracy but it's a center back card right 82 acceleration 96 sprint speed fun card for sure not the most meta face stats look insane I mean, he is really cheap. It's like 50,000 coins to do as an SBC. So I can't complain too much here. This is just a fun card for the summer vibes, and it's super duper cheap to do. So I'm a fan of that one, to be honest. Now, a little bit more expensive card. Remember this leak? We talked about it right before I went away. Vitinha. We talked about maybe he was going to be a right back, but we ended up getting Bamba, and Vitinha came out as a striker. And man, did he actually rock the market. I know we talked about this and looked at it. I don't even know where Golden Bappe is right now in price, but it was the striker. Strikers on this game that were really affected by this Vitinha. And Bappe is 145,000 coins. He was all the way down at 130, but he was 220 when this SBC came out. We're a little bit uh, below that, right around 200k. Huge, huge drop. And a lot of other strikers have dropped as well because, once again, we talked about this when we first saw this Vitinha league is that he is a PSG player. He's got the Portuguese links as well, but it's that PSG. And of course, when you look at the card that they gave him, an absolutely fantastic card as well. You, there was going to be drop-offs like this, especially when the price point of this SBC is so good as well. Great links, great card. 
and a good price. Lautaro goes from 480k down to 380,000 coins on the day that SBC was released. This SBC has got a very high upvote percentage, 88%. And your PSG links on the other side of things are up big as well. Nuna Menj, Tots card, a lot of your other PSG links. I'm assuming like Marquinhos would be another one that is up a good amount. Is Tots card, how much is he right now? Oh my, 560k. This SBC made him go from, what was he? He was like 400k and now he's, wow, 560. So like four, basically went up like 100,000 coins since the Vitinha has come out. Crazy rises on those PSG links because of the hype for this card. Now, I'm probably going to do this one, but do I really think it's going to be in my team for a long time? Probably not. I don't know. Some people say he, this card is indeed better than Gold Mbappe, which is kind of crazy that it's still Gold Mbappe is as insane as he is, but it is Mbappe, right? It's the cover athlete of this game. So that one's a big W for me. And, uh, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, but for how overpowered and meta people say that he is with the five-star skill moves. And just, again, the craziness of what this shapeshifter promo brings is just cards that you're like, when would I ever use Sorloth at center back? Well, now you get a chance to. When would I ever use Vitinha, a midfielder, at striker? Well, now I get a chance to. So that's kind of the fun part with this. And then another fun SBC was dropped yesterday with King. Cantona, love the Icon SBC selection here with him. We had a Moments Cantona, I think it was last year, at the end of FIFA 22, and that was an SBC that I did almost right away as kind of like a big marquee Icon card. This card for me last year was so, so good. Cantona is always an Icon that people want to go after because he's meta in-game. He can also play a lot of different positions. He can play up top if you want to use him up there. In-game, he does play decent in the midfield as well, or a center attacking mid. So, a lot of people like this card. I think the price point here is very nice. And you can tell because the card on the market was, I believe, like 800 and something thousand coins. Uh, 950K went all the way down to 700K. Now, I didn't see any leaks for this. So that part, that might have been in part why his price dropped off so much yesterday. Because so few people were expecting this card to drop um, as an SBC. At least I missed the leaks. Maybe there was one. But it didn't seem like there was that much panic leading up into it. But what a great price for a great well-known uh, icon in the game of FIFA. So 700K for this. Very craftable. Pretty easy to do. And no complaints for me there. Now, this is the pack. This is the player pick, rather, I should say, that is bringing all of the crazy hype and the crazy news and information. Actually, before we get to that, let's backtrack just one second. I forgot to talk about the big icon pack. I just saw it over there in Footbin. The 90 plus Brazil, France, Netherlands icon upgrade. It didn't drop on Sunday, right? I think this dropped on Monday, right? You could do it two times, but the hype for this pack was absolutely there. I heard about people packing, you know, like Jarzinho's. And Vandersar team of the years and stuff like that. Um, like that's that's nice. That is very, very nice because there's a really high ceiling, as we talked about, really high ceiling with this pack, ceiling, but there's also a really like low floor, like you know, what is it? The uh the bird camp, the petit, the desai, those guys that you probably don't want as the prime versions from this, but at least EA made it a price that's Halfway doable, um, 330,000 coins, and 88, 85, and 86 rated squad. These TOTS cards, guys, on the market, EA, um, I, I, I said it before we before I went away for a couple of days, like, I was assuming that the TOTS prices would go up, but at the same time, I was hoping that EA would update some price ranges. These guys are all now, what, like 55k for a TOTS card? Almost 60,000 coins for a team of the season card, and it just keeps going up because these price ranges, actually, maybe a few of them have been upgraded. Uh, I thought Kim and Jay couldn't go above 45 before. Maybe they have updated a few of these and I've just missed it. But 57k for a Tots card right now on this game is actually pretty wild. That's why I started to uh, just liquidate a few more that were on my transfer list. John Mario for 60. I, I sold 60, 55 there for another card. I mean, I'm just taking a few thousand coins on these because it is what it is. And I would rather just take the cash there and have my 8 million coins and be happy with it. But those cards have just continued to go up because there's no supply right now. EA still have not compensated those three player tradable packs um, from the weekend. League rewards and those TOTS packs uh, that we're still looking for compensation from as well. So that 90 plus, again... We can do it twice as well, like that. So GG's to EA. Honestly, guys, really good content. Great SBCs, new ones, right? That's part of the fun here is new SBCs that we have not had before with this 90 plus good icon SBCs. Of course, the shape here to play SBCs are just cool because they're different in general. And of course, the one we started to talk about but kind of failed to continue with, the 92 plus glitched TOTS or Shapeshifters Team 1 players pick. 
Now, the reason this was glitched, I'll go to the EA tweet right now to show you guys. This was their tweet. The 92 plus tots or shapeshifters pick incorrectly included tots moments player items. Man, these tots moments cards, this is twice now where they have been the problem on this SBC or a, both the SBCs that have required the compensation recently. The SBC has been temporarily removed and will return. We'll see about that. Of course, the uh, five times repeatable tots pack never returned. Impacted players will be sent corrected rewards in game in the coming days. And man, uh, like some of these guys are saying in the comments, like, is this a joke? So much compensation at this moment, bro, and so many different issues they've been having. It's crazy. Let's think about the list. We've got the Portuguese Brazilian packs, 100 and 200k packs. We got the five times repeatable tots or tots moments upgrade SBC. Still awaiting compensation for that. And we still have last week's weekend league rewards for the 14 win and above um, packs that we're giving out the tradable red cards. This is number four on the list of content that is there to be uh, compensated. Now, currently, I have a one of four. I've got this 92 plus. I have not opened it yet. And I don't know if I'm going to get compensated from this. And that's the biggest question. Who is going to get compensation from this player pick? Now, I hate to say this because I hope I'm wrong. But I really think what EA is going to do is they're only going to compensate the people who got tots moments players from this player pick. And since it's now been removed, I don't know if it's fixed. I'm going to be the test dummy right here, right now, live in this video, because I'm not opened it yet. And this is approximately nine hours after EA tweeted that the pick uh, was glitched. So we're going to give this a shot. And I hope that they, you know, compensate everybody that completed the SBC. But oftentimes what they do is they just do the minimum and they compensate everybody who was actually affected by the issue. Although it is a very popular argument to say I mean, I completed this and I thought I saw people packing tots moments, thought I could pack tots moments in it. I was impacted by the weight in the glitched SBC. You know, you can make that argument. But without further ado, let's see what we get out of this. Come on, EA Sports. Hit me with a banger. Ooh, Memphis Depay. Okay, I did not get a moments card in there. Kingsley Coman, Ruben Diaz, and Depay. You know what? You know what? I think... Ooh, Depay is like, what, 480k, almost 500,000 coins. Ruben Diaz, I think, carries a pretty hefty price tag, too. He's like 600k. And then Coman is, what, like, 4 to 5? Something like that? Coman definitely does not make my team like a Ruben Diaz or a Depay would. Wow, I'm very happy with that player pick, honestly. Um, I feel like I kind of have to go with the new card in Depay, though. My, my center backs, you guys know, if you watch the streams, my center backs are crazy. Veron and VVD. So I'm set there. I'm going to try out this Depay card with the La Liga links that I have. That's hype. I'm excited for that one. So, again, I didn't get a moments card, though, in the actual player pick. So I don't think I, I might not get compensated from that. I hope that I do. But I'm not expecting any compensation because of the way they do compensation sometimes in this game. So really quickly, I just want to open this. Hey, that's maybe some, uh, you know, go away from your account pack theory, right? You know, off the game for a few days. Well, that pack doesn't show up. But off the game for a few days, we get a really nice player pick right there. That was pretty crazy. Um, but regardless, a little bit more about this SBC. Whenever they bring it back, this is a W content, man. This really is. And this is what I was saying in the video earlier where the content this week has actually been really solid. I know it hasn't been like, wow, content every single day but great icon sbc great player sbcs 81 plus player picks can't not mention those all gold cards on the market right now are 700 coins if you're gonna do upgrade packs those player picks just buy gold rares we say this all the time but it's so much easier to buy these at 700 or 750 than to try to buy non-rares because people think you have to use non-rares and rares just use all rares. But the 92 plus, this one, of course, going away. This is W content, though, because it's just fun. It includes cards from the current promo team, which is always massive. Like, I was much more interested in that Depay card because he's only been in packs for, what, five, six days? I haven't tried him out yet. I want to try out this Depay. And the fact that I can get him from a player pick like I just did is a W. Anytime you get the chance to pack promo cards from a current promo team from a gamble sort of upgrade pack like that, even if there's other stuff thrown in there to make it less worth it, 
uh, the, the fact that you have a potential to pack, I could have gotten uh, Van Persie or I could have gotten, you know, one of these icons, I believe, would have been inside of those. I, I heard about people getting um, icons because it says Shapeshifter Team 1 players, and I think icons would be included in that since they're in the Team 1. I don't exactly know for sure, but, uh, you know, I could have got a VVD or a Mares or a Bruno, and, you know, that would have been insane. So I'm a big fan of that sort of content. The price is not bad. 200,000 coins. I will do it again if it were to come back out in this game. So W content, just it's an L. It's unfortunate that there was a glitch there and that there has to be compensation. And there's another issue um, with kind of that stuff in the game. So again, guys, with the compensation, I really hope they give it to everybody who completed the SBC in that one hour and whatever minute time window that it was. But I'm really not thinking that's going to happen. I think it's only going to be compensation for if you packed a moments card from that actual player pick. So I'm a little bit bummed by that. I hope I'm wrong. That's just my guess, though. Now, let's talk about the market, of course, in this video as well. Because the market's actually been a pretty stable place. As I go through and open some of these random packs that I've guess have come from other SBCs that I've completed. But uh, the market's been pretty stable. A lot of your out-of-pack special cards are just kind of chilling. And they're just kind of chilling, I think, because yes, the content is good, but we've only had one week of shapeshifters. Yes, I did mention like the Lautaro Martinez is down, some of your other strikers are down, and there are a few cards here and there like um, Osiman, Cavaradona. Like there are cards that have dropped for sure, but you still got um, you know De Bruyne's like 470, Teo Hernandez is still like 500k. Um, you know, Militao is up, he's 1.7. Musiala is still 900k. Leao. Uh, Rashford, Pedri, a lot of those guys have kind of stayed in the same range. They haven't moved that much. Um, and, you know, I guess that's kind of to be expected until we move later on into shapeshifters. I think, you know, heading into this Friday, we could have some more panic. But for right now, we're just kind of chilling. That's kind of how it feels. Good content, but we're chilling. It's not like people have had enough reason with shapeshifters to go and sell everything they had have to try out these new cards but of course strikers are down uh that tots fodder is up fodder in general in general sbc fodder at the moment is doing really good but it's doing really good on the top tier we're talking the 86s and above specifically those 87s 88s and 89s i'm glad we focused on those earlier this weekend when we talked about investing in fodder because that's where the money was if you look at De Gea, um on monday he was 13k. I think fodder actually dropped off Monday because we did not get the um, what was it that 90 plus pack? It didn't come until was it Monday or Tuesday? Yeah, Monday late. Uh, at content drop, we didn't get it till then. So you saw the Hea and these 87s go from 15k down to like 13, and then explode back to 17, 18 thousand coins. And you can see yesterday when content dropped with that 92 plus player pick that came out, all of these were like 20k plus 22k for these 87 rated cards. If this SBC is to return, there's going to be so much more hype for fodder again. Now, would I bank on that happening? Probably not because again, the times five repeatable tots or tots moments upgrade never came back either. So I'm not expecting that one to come back. Uh, the 92 plus from yesterday to come back at least at least quick. So I wouldn't have high hopes for that and go invest in 87s for that potential. But I would just say keep an eye on fodder this weekend as we normally do. Investing in fodder on the weekends is like almost always a really good play. I think it'll be a good play this weekend as well. So just kind of keep an eye on that for there. We've got rivals rewards today. I don't think that'll impact the market too much. Uh, these shapeshifter cards, definitely not looking at investing into a crazy amount of them out of packs. Um... I'm assuming we're going to get more icons. We do have a couple of leaks, and they're very interesting to me. We'll cover that towards the end here. But I would say these guys would probably drop off a little bit more today. It really depends on the leaks, guys. The loading screen and the leaks. We don't have, like, anything right now for shapeshifters, icons, or regular players of what's upcoming of cards in packs. We do have a couple SBC leagues, um, but nothing for in packs. That could potentially change today with us a loading screen, like I said, and some Twitter leaks. So watch out for that. That could kind of start to give us a feel for how Shapeshifters Team 2 might be looking. Now, other content today, marquee matchups, throwback MMs, probably as much as I'm ex expecting. Thursdays have been always pretty quiet days. That could be different this week. Who knows? The thing that I have to mention, though, guys, is... What in the world is EA going to do with not one, but two goalkeepers that have been added as shapeshifter SBCs? Now, I went back last year, and unless Footbin is lying to me, I sorted by FIFA 22 shapeshifter cards by goalkeeper. There was not a single shapeshifter goalkeeper released last year, to my recollection as well. 
how is EA going to take a goalkeeper player and either give them a different card that is a shapeshifter with the same position and somehow like move up? Maybe they have like insane like diving or maybe they insanely boost their reactions or that'd be too overpowered, right? They never boost reactions, but I don't know how they're going to do it here with Pepe, Reyna, and with Czech. And these guys are both leaked as SBCs. Um, unless one or both of them were to come in packs as a part of the team this Friday, I'm so curious to see what EA will do with this. I don't know if it's even possible for EA to move a goalkeeper to be in the field. And correct me in the comments if, I've wrong, if I'm wrong and I've forgotten about this, but I can't remember a time on FIFA where a goalkeeper player has been like move to striker or anything like that. Yes, we've had goalkeeper players that have gotten five-star skills that you could like play at striker, but goalkeepers have always been goalkeepers. Remember in a game when you get a red card, you can't sub out a goalie for an outfield player, right? It's not how it works. Um, like, I don't know how it's going to work in FIFA. If the goalies are just like different builds. So I'm so curious to see what they do with that. Hopefully we get some more news and info on that uh, today. And yeah, guys, that's kind of the video for today, man. I just kind of wanted to hop on and run through a normal daily video with you guys. First one and getting back into the swing of things after being gone for a couple of days. I did miss a lot and I'm excited to get back on and try to snag on my last day possible. Try to snag a few of these shapeshifters. Of course, we just got the pie from that player pick, which was nice. I would love to get crafting and do some 81 plus player picks as it just opened some cards, some packs there. Uh, I love the price in these player picks. I know I didn't really mention them, but I love the price on these. Super grindable week if you want to be grinding the menus. Um, yeah, it's just a good week to be on FIFA, honestly. Good content. Hopefully more to come as well. How many rares do I need for this? Three rares. Wow, this is such a WSBC. No wonder rares are up at like 700 coins. Yeah, just buy the rares, man. It's the way to go. But I'm going to rinse my club um, and get a couple of these player picks done. And we'll be doing some of these on stream today. We'll be back on the Twitch stream. So if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's pack a shapeshifter right here to send it off. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I didn't pack a shapeshifter, but I'll see you guys on the stream today. Peace.